Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're diving into the brand new release of BROS 12.11 codename Lara. And this version marks a major shift, one that may just take BROS to an entirely new level of professionalism and reliability. So let's get into it. For those who are unfamiliar, BROS is a Linux distro that originated in Brazil, aimed at being user-friendly and beautiful, with a strong focus on productivity and visual polish. Previously, it was based on Ubuntu, so it benefited from Ubuntu's ecosystem and structure. But now, things have changed. Let's be real here. Ubuntu hasn't been making everyone happy lately. Between abandoning the desktop focus for years, forcing snap packages on users, and shifting toward a more immutable snap-based environment that doesn't play well with how most Linux users work. It was becoming harder for BROS to build a stable, functional release on top of Ubuntu. So the team said, enough is enough, no more just trying to patch up the issues or wait for Ubuntu to fix itself, it was time to go with something that values stability, freedom and community, so they moved to Debian. And that's a huge deal. Now here is where it gets even more impressive. BROS 12.11 isn't just Ubuntu swapped for Debian and called a day. No, the team actually changed the way the entire system is built. Previously, they grab a based ISO from Ubuntu, customize it and push it out. Now, they're doing what the Debian Live team does. They're building the whole ISO from scratch, package by package. This means a lighter system, a cleaner system and most importantly more stable and customized. It's like moving from assembling IKEA furniture to building your own design from raw materials. The end result is more powerful and tailored. If you're wondering, wait, wasn't the last BROS version 24.04, why is this one 12.11? Great question. Since BROS is now based on Debian stable, it has adopted Debian's versioning scheme. So 12.11 reflects Debian 12 bookworm with BROS layering on top of that. So even though it looks like a downgrade in number, it's actually a step up in quality and support. And don't worry, they joke that by the time BROS reaches 24.10 again, it will be 2040 and will probably be on quantum computing anyway. Let's go over the core features. Debian 12.11 stable base. This means long term support, reliable updates, and a massive software ecosystem. KDE 5.27.5 you're getting a mature, polished version of Plasma with all the latest goodies. KDE Framework 5.103 plus Qt 5.15.8. This brings consistency and modern app support. Wayland by default with Zorg as a fallback. Wayland is smoother, more secure and better for modern hardware. Linux Kernel 6.11 LTS. Excellent hardware support, especially for AMD and Intel GPUs. One of the biggest reasons to switch to BROS now is the promise of long-term stability. Because it's based on Debian Stable, BROS 12.11 gets support until December 2026 and LTS updates until June 2028. That's a full 3 plus years of updates without worrying about breakage or being forced into a new version too early. You're in full control. BROS 12.11 isn't trying to reinvent the wheel. It's a transitional release focused on making the move from Ubuntu to Debian. That's why the real future jump is expected to come in the next version BROS 13.0, which is already in development. So think of 12.11 as the foundation, the big flashy stuff is just around the corner. If you're worried that switching to a Debian base means fewer packages, don't. Debian has one of the largest software repositories in the Linux world, and now BROS users can easily install dev packages made for Debian, use Flatpak for sandboxed apps, enjoy no snap bloat which is honestly a breath of fresh air. And for developers or power users, this opens up way more flexibility. You're no longer tied to Ubuntu's controversial design choices. You can still download the latest Ubuntu based version BROS 24.04 but the spotlight is now clearly on BROS 12.11 Lara. It's ready to download and try today. If you're someone who wants a beautiful KDE desktop, prefers stability and professionalism, is tired of snaps or just wants a modern but traditional Linux system that just works, then BROS 12.11 Lara is 100% worth a look. 
It may not have fancy new features on the surface, but under the hood is one of the most important BROS releases to date. It marks the beginning of a new era and for fans of KD and Debian, it may just be the perfect combo. Let me know in the comments, are you planning to try out BROS 12.11 or are you waiting for version 13.0? Would you consider switching from your current distro? And as always, if this video helped, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you on the next one.